What's up folks, Jorge Nito here. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the Stuart Gordon double lift and also the pinky count because um, the easiest way to get into the Stuart Gordon, well, one of the ways um, is the pinky count. You don't have to do that way. I'm going to show another way, an easier way actually. And um, just one thing real quick. I put a video, um, a I published a video about double lifts and the reason why I believe that it's important to incorporate um, switches rather than do, you know, double lifts all the time in another video. And it wasn't that I was, you know, downplaying double lifts. Obviously, I use double lifts a lot, double turnovers. And I know a lot of um, you guys do too. And so they're a crucial part of sleight of hand card magic. And so it's not that <clears throat> I would discourage the usage of double lifts. Um, but what I was trying to say in the other video, like I said, I'll link it in the description. You can check it out. But was to employ other methods instead of always just, you know, doing this over and over. Or at least employing different methods, different double turnovers, so as to not so as to not raise suspicion, obviously in the mind of the spectator. Anyway, that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. What is the Stuart Gordon? By the way, I'm using the Gemini Pizza deck. Um, really cool deck of cards. That was the Stuart Gordon right there. It's two cards turned over as one. Now, I see a lot of people doing the uh, strike double, which is, which is like that. But I think the Stuart Gordon is a nice way to just reveal a card, place it back on the deck, and it looks kind of neat. And the whole move is holding the, the two cards, holding the double in a biddle grip, and then rolling the card over whilst maintaining the double. Okay, so it's it, it's a neat way um, to present a card. I know an argument against the Stuart Gordon double is that seems like an unnatural way to turn over a card. And I would just kindly, you know, disagree because we see people turn cards over like that all the time where they're like one, you know, especially in... Uh, any card at any number um, type of situations. Anyway, so the easiest way to get into the Stuart Gordon that I know of is um, people say uh, you riffle up the back to get a double. You don't have to do that. As long as the deck is just kind of loose, you could take your middle finger and secure the front of the deck and just with your thumb just kind of get two cards and you'll know when you have two cards, obviously. And so, and this is done under the cover or under the guise of just uh, misdirection or talking to the spectator. Once you have um, the double, you know, you want to get your pinky in there. That way it's secured. I like to kind of push it forward a little bit just to square everything up. Keeping the sides of the cards braced. Um with thumb and middle finger and you could just see how you could take two cards and you could slide them back and forth fairly freely and they're not going to they're not going to separate okay so let's see if i could do it this way so you get a double either like this or you could do the pinky count pinky count um it, it takes a little while to learn uh, once you have it down, it's like riding a bike, you'll never forget it. What you're using is obviously your pinky, your thumb, it's held, uh, deck is held a mechanics grip. You're using your thumb to bend down, you know, on this side of the deck while you're using your pinky to pull down on this side. So you're creating this kind of bowing action. And at the same time, I, some people like to curl their index finger underneath to get that bow going on. 
I like to use the base of the of the uh, the index to kind of leverage up. So whatever makes sense to you. Mechanics grip. You got the thumb pulling down. You got the pinky pulling down on the other side, and you just start counting the cards that are released from your pinky. And a good way to practice this is just going through the deck, releasing one card at a time. And so that's going to build up muscle memory, muscle strength in the pinky. Um, and that's going to be important. So anyway, once you have that down, you, uh, you count off two cards. You come in for the biddle. You take the double in uh, the biddle position. Now this is the action. You, you have the middle finger bracing the top, the thumb bracing the bottom. And you have this index that sort of applies a downward pressure. And what happens is you're slowly releasing your thumb. Now this is splitting um, because I'm going slow. And what I would suggest you do before even doing it with a double is just take a regular card. Just take one single card and practice with that. Just hold it in like a biddle, biddle type fashion, and just practice rolling that card over. So just push off a single card, push down on the index, and you're going to allow your thumb to slowly release from the edge and slide down to this corner. That's essentially what the, what the Stuart Gordon... Um, looks like So Another thing that's important is whenever you're doing the slide down You want to slide your thumb down to this corner essentially pinching the card Right here in, in this fashion. Let's see if I could do that again You're bringing your thumb downward To where you're holding the card like so Angle this down just a little bit more. I hope this is not confusing. Grab the double biddle grip. Pushing down with the index. And you're beginning to slide your thumb down to this corner where your fingers are, like so. Now once you've displayed the card, there's a couple ways to, to turn it back over. You can... You can do this, and then you could use your index to go ahead and flip flip them over, or turn them over, rather, onto the deck. Or what I like to do sometimes is, once it's, dis once it's turned over, is go ahead and display it by placing it in the deck hand, re-gripping for the turnover, the same thing, just like that. It's, a, it's, it's really not that complicated. Um, I'm probably making it sound more complicated than it needs to be. It's very easy. You got your double, and you're just rolling your thumb. Obviously, that's that split right there. But like I said, you want to roll your thumb. Let me do it from this way. You want to roll your thumb down to this um, lower corner where the index is, and that's going to keep it braced against, um, I guess the base of your index and middle finger, and sort of in a, it's, it, when you, when you end up in this position, you think it's like some kind of like clutching death grip, and in a way it is, but you're not leaving it there, you're just simply displaying the card and turning it over, you know, you just... You're displaying the card and turning it over. That's 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 all you're doing. Okay. Put it in there. Right there. Anyway, guys, there's a few thoughts that I have on the Stuart Gordon uh, double as well um, as the pinky count. I hope you get some mileage out of it. Some of you, I'm sure, probably already know this and do this. If if there's some tips suggestion things that I left out, please feel free to leave those in the comment section. 
Um, we just want to, you know, the Bible says iron sharpens iron. We want to um, just build off of each other. We want to, you know, uh, learn from each other and grow and develop as sleight of hand card magicians. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by. I still have a, I still have the giveaway going on. Um, FYI, as soon as I hit a hundred subscribers, I'm giving away a pack of gold Fort Knox to the first, uh, for first place. It'll be two drawings. Um, I will draw a name. Um, the first time, whoever gets that, uh, on the first drawing, they will get the gold Knox. The second drawing, that winner will get a, a, a brand new deck of Gemini Skid Rose. And I just want to say, if you check out Alex Pandrea's House of Playing Cards website where he sells his different decks and stuff, the gold Fort Knox is now up to $100. It's sold out. There, there's none on the actual site. But like I said, when he released the deck, um, you know, months back, he, he released it in a way to where the price, the value would go up $2 every week until, who knows, it's up to $100 right now. You can check that out. Obviously, if you go on eBay, you'll find some floating around there for probably half the price. But, I mean, the longer you wait, the more it's just going to go up in value. Every week, it goes up $2. I'm giving one, one of those decks away to one lucky winner. As soon as I hit 100 subscribers, and there will be a second one or two who will get a really cool pack of Gemini Skid Rose. Gemini makes great decks of cards. I'm using Gemini's right now. Uh, these are the Pizza uh, Gemini cards. Great cards for cardistry and magic. Anyway, thanks again for stopping by. God bless. We'll see you next time.